What is beagling? Beagling, you chase a hare on foot with beagles and you chase the hare. I was also a cross-country runner and I love this and in the winter I had a whip and I would chase the beagles and stop them going where they shouldn't go. Anyway, um, I was in the army in the war, I had to join the army, so I was with the Indian army, I was there for three years. When I came home in 1948 from India, when I came out that particular year, it was rather good because the beagles were meeting, they used to meet at the pub. So I came out and uh, I sort of knew about being and liked the idea. So they, off we went, I joined in, the first time I'd ever done it, upon the Ridgeway. We went all over the Ridgeway with all these beagles, such fun. And these beagles are jolly little things, they're so happy. And you might say, well, they're going to catch the poor hare. Now hares are specially built with very long legs. Now when a hare comes to a steep hill, it goes straight up. Now a beagle can't do that because his legs aren't strong enough. But what they do, they get onto the scent of a hare. And that's what their job is, to follow the scent. Now for instance, if we were in a field together with the beagles and a hare got up over there, you think, well, that's good, they'll catch it. We don't want to catch it. So the master has to lift all the beagles and take us to another field and to get onto the scent. It's a work of art, following the scent. In Dorset, there are probably three or four packs, and we are allotted a piece of Dorset as our country. In a funny way, it makes you get to know the country. Now, our pack is a combination of a military pack and a civilian one. When we're out with the Beagles, these young, uh, young officers come out with us, and I began to realise that looking at the countryside, you're getting to know the country. So now, if you're a young officer in the war, an infantry officer, and you're, you have to think, out, what would I do if I've got to go and get that farmhouse? And what, what, do I, what tactics do I employ? So you have an idea of the ground, how it lies, the ground will dip. The Ridgeway is mainly an ancient thing. And of course, it's where the old roadways go. That's where you walk. And I explored the whole of the Ridgeway, which I would have done partially, no doubt, but this kept me up to it. How much of the Ridgeway have you explored? We've all walked every bit of it, you know. It's a wonderful place because out of this great Ridgeway hill, then there's this little stream comes out. It's rather a secret. But it means to say there's been people living here from prehistoric times. Wherever there was water, people lived. Up on the top of the Ridgeway, you will see the burial mounds of the dead people of the old days, which they excavate, and a lot of history is written about them. And you can trace them. We sort of go along looking at these burial mounds, and Binkham is a little village just to the west of us. And up on the hill, there are several of these mounds. They're called the Binkham Bumps, but they're actually burial places. So wherever there was good stuff to walk and look at, I did it. So, Tony, it's been really lovely interviewing you. Thank you for coming.